Smart grow boxes are the future of cannabis growing. In this video we will talk about the features, pros and cons of this technology. Hi folks and welcome to Kenner Trends and to this video about smart grow boxes. A new trend and a new technology is emerging, but what are smart grow boxes? Smart grow boxes are fully automized home grow boxes where you can grow plants with a minimum time and work effort. But what's the current status? Most of you know already the classical home grow boxes which come in different uh, variations and different sizes. The smallest one begin uh, with 60 and 60 centimeters and a height of 2 meters uh, and they cost around 300 euros but uh, you have them in different shapes and different sizes as well so you can take for example 8 square meters or whatever you need. And all these grow boxes also come with uh, basic equipment. This is mostly a gas lamp with an uh, electrical device which is needed uh, for the electricity and uh, also they come with a carbon filter, with a fan and smaller accessoires which you also need for the grow box. Um, these grow boxes are cool and fine, but they come also with three, with three basic problems. And the, the three basic problems are first, that you need some kind of technical knowledge to, um, yeah, to use the grow box, I would say it like that. Um, you need to know how many watt you need for, uh, for the square meter you would like to grow. You need to know what kind of lightning do you take, uh, which uh, filter of carbon filter of course you, you take. So you need some kind of technical skills to, um, to use and to, to pl plug in also the, the grow box. Also you need grow skills, so that means you have to know um, what uh, time uh, what light cycles does the plant need, how long it needed for, uh, for blooming time, what kind of fertilizers are needed, um, are there some bugs you have to care of. So you also need some grow skills to do the grow and also it's a lot of time which you have to invest in your grow, you have to water your seeds, you have to look after temperature, uh, EC and so on. So there's quite a lot work with your home grow boxes. So well, there were, there were a lot of developers and engineers and uh, cool entrepreneurs um, who said we would like to solve these three problems of technical grow and time consuming skills and make a product that is full, fully automized and which, uh, which, which makes growing much more easier. And yeah, now we come to the facts of the new smart grow boxes. New smart grow boxes come with a lot of cool features the older ones don't have. And the most important feature is plug and grow. That means you just enable the machine, put in water, nutrition, and then you can start growing. And that's the second point, you need a seed. So if you have a seed, you put in the seed and after a couple of weeks or months, you have uh, the, the harvest time and you have the yield you can harvest there. So the second point is seed to yield, which is very, very convenient. But there are more sophisticated technologies which are used in the new smart grow boxes. Um, of course, they come with a carbon filter, which is needed um, uh, to make a cool stealth modus for a machine. But also they have uh, LED lightning, which is much more electricity efficient. And they come with aquaponics. Aquaponics is a type of um, growing without soil, just based on water and uh, nutrition. Um, yeah, and that's also a new technology. Of course, the machine needs a lot of sensors to measure, for example, pH, EC, CO2, uh, humidity, um, temperature, and it comes also with a camera so you can monitor uh, and film your grow. The machines also have the possibility to lock the door and they also have 
nutritions which come in cartridges which are built into the machine and the machine doses the nutrition yeah the nutrients um, the last point is the app uh, all these devices come with an app um, the most important point of the app is the grow profile different plants and different strains need different grow profiles uh, so uh, if you if you plant for example a marijuana indica plant uh, you can choose the specific grow profile and the, and the device make, makes the whole growing for you but of course you can also contact the community ask for help and uh, can watch on the uh, on the app uh, how your growing is proceeding yeah, and these are the most important features. Let's come now to the pros of the new devices. Of course, new technologies come with cool features, but what are the most important pros when we are talking about smart grow boxes? Well, we have talked about the problems before of conventional grow boxes and the three problems are uh, technical skills, uh, growing skills and time consuming. And uh, it seems that the entrepreneurs and developers and engineers that they did really a good job because uh, these machines now come totally automized so that even a dummy can make a small homegrown at his home. So that means that um, the problem of automatization has been solved and that is really a big, big plus. The second uh, thing is that you need less time for making a grow because the machine comes completely with the cartridges. You just have to change the cartridges, clean maybe sometimes and uh, change the water. And so it's much less time consuming. So that's the second pro. Also, I would like to mention that uh, from my point of view, these, these uh, grow boxes, the new smart grow boxes, they seem more safe and have also a better stealth mode. Um, I would say it like that. They are so designed, so well designed, that it looks more like a fridge or a cool gadget or a machine than a grow box. So if you, for example, um, have kids, and now we are talking about uh, safety, uh, these machines are much more safer because uh, you can close or lock the door so nobody can access the machine. So it's perfect to have it in a flat so neighbors, kids, uh, people who don't should see your home grow so they don't see it. And I think this is a very important point because there are still a lot of countries in this world who criminalize cannabis, even medical cannabis, so you can really grow it very safe in a very stealth mode. Um, these machines are also smaller size, uh, so uh, mostly the smallest grow boxes are one square meter, so that means 100 per 100 uh, and 2 meters height. And uh, these grow boxes come uh, with 60 per 60 centimeters and are between 1 meter and 1 meter 20 so they are much more smaller and this could be a pro for example for urban areas where most of us live like me for example and uh, in urban areas uh, space is very very scarcey so that means every centimeter counts and uh, better having a, a small grow device than none because in Tokyo or in London you won't have the space to make a huge grow. Um, the next pro is that you can track your grow and that's a, a cool cool benefit because uh, just think you want uh, you, you want to go for three days to visit friends or to go to, to a parents home whatever um, and with uh, the new app you can monitor your grow and you don't have to be afraid that something goes wrong and in the worst case you can switch off the machine uh, by pressing the stop button, I suppose. Yeah, and the last pro, it, it, it's the technique by itself. So this is the latest uh, tech art. Uh, and uh, if you like that, that is also a pro for you. But of course, these um, smart grow boxes also come uh, with cons, uh, with things that wo don't work so well, uh, things that are not so good developed. Uh, and as it is a no new technology, there are some points we have to talk about. 
New technologies bring benefits, but there are also some worries I would like to talk about. And the first one is the adaptability. When you compare conventional grow boxes with smart grow boxes, the conventional ones are much more adaptable. If something uh, is not what you want, you just go into the grow shop or the garden shop, change it, buy a new one, build it in and that's it. So it's just a system which is very easy to change, to maintenance and it's very cost efficient. Um, the first point is the adaptability, the second one is the service and the maintenance. Smart grow boxes are similar to printers maybe uh, because they come with the cartridges and they come also with, um, with a whole package service and that means that you have to contact the producer when for example some part is broke or when you for example need new nutrition. And uh, this could be more time consuming and also much more costful than having a conventional grow box where you just go to the shop and uh, buy all the kind of nutrition nutrition which are on the market. The third worry which I have is we still don't know if this technology works. You can see now that this is a video which is really based on data and on um, experience, so we haven't really tested these devices yet. Uh, so we are just talking about the new technology, but we have to see if this new technology will be, yeah, will be uh, proved well also in, in practice using. Let's come to other worries uh, and let's talk about efficiency. Comparison old or conventional grow box of one square meter uh, to the size of 60 per 60 centimeters of a, of a smart grow box. Every grower who has a little bit experience will tell you that plants need space. So if they have just a couple of space, the efficiency of the machine and the lights and the nutrition, nutrients is not as well if we have, for example, a conventional grow box with one square meter. So the first point is the size. The second one um, is, um, is the type of growing. There are several types of growing. You can make a classical growing, you can make, make a seed of green or a scrock growing. Uh, so you have the possibility to choose the best and the most efficient type of growing you like to do. But if you have a smart grow box, you cannot choose uh, that because the machine does its process and that's it. The third point is, the, I think, the most important point and that's about yield. Smart grow boxes produce a yield per grow between 130 and 60 grams per 60, 60 centimeters. So 150 down to 60 grams per grow. If we have a conventional grow box of one square meter, you can grow even 300 to 500 grams per square meter. So the conventional grow box is just a little size much, much bigger uh, and you can grow much more and that's about efficiency. Yeah, the last point of course is the price. These machines come between 2400 and 1800 euros and conventional grow boxes start about 300 euros. So this is quite a huge difference in price and uh, you can buy a lot of wheat for this amount of money. But let's come now to the uh, startups uh, which are uh, developing and uh, producing uh, these, uh, yeah, these smart grow boxes, the market is uh, already developing, so um, the technology is starting to emerge um, the market and there is only one product in the US which are on the market now and that's the, the Leaf smart grow box and the price is about 1800 euros, uh, but there are uh, three more to come. The, the second one is Gobo, is also a US American startup. Uh, the third one is Sido, which I personally like most. And Sido is an uh, Israeli startup, and the price uh, for the Sido launch, uh, which starts now, would be uh, around 2,400 euros. And there's also Clever Garden, and this is a startup which is still in prototyping, and we will see what comes next there. 
Are smart grow boxes a new trend? Um, what's about it and uh, what, what, what comes next? This is a, a very good question. I think that this is a new technology which is already emerging. Um, and from my point of view, there is a market for smart grow boxes uh, as well it is a niche product. So that means there are certain type of, of people who need and who will like um, smart grow boxes. And this could be, for example, uh, persons who live in an urban area like, uh, like me, when they don't have a lot of space, for example, they have a small apartment and they maybe also live uh, close to their parents and so they want to keep that secret that they grow. For these people, these uh, smart grow boxes could be a cool solution as well. Um, also persons uh, who want to grow but don't have any kind of experience and just want uh, to have the fun with, with, with growing and having this uh, techniques. Um, I think for early adopters, tech freaks, this is also a cool gadget. Um, yeah, and there is also the demand uh, for persons uh, who want to grow medical cannabis and, 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 and for those who live in countries where cannabis is still uh, criminalized and due to the cool stealth mode, uh, these machines uh, have a niche of uh, producing small amounts of uh, of uh, weed, but uh, in a very stealth mode. Uh, for, for mainstreaming uh, smart grow boxes, it's too early to say. Um, there are some parameters which should be improved and uh, these are, for example, the efficiency and we have to see if the technology works and there's also the price. The price is at this moment quite high and uh, I think the price will lower within the next, next years, so we will see what, uh, what the price and uh, yeah, technical development will bring within the next years, of course. Yeah, folks, that's uh, my video about uh, smart grow boxes and uh, I hope um, you enjoyed this video, you learned something new about this new technology, so please give this video a like. Um, and if you're interested in uh, startups, cannabis trends, new technologies and the whole cannabis industry, subscribe for this channel and um, maybe there's also someone who is watching this video who has the Leaf device at home and has already tried to grow uh, with this device and maybe you can share your experience with the Leaf machine and how the technology and the whole stuff works. Yeah, and that's it for today, folks. Like, subscribe, uh, comment and share so other people can be inspired.